As the manhunt there in Maine continues, we're talking with people around here with a personal connection to the tragedy, including a woman who was just a few hundred feet away from the bar when the shots rang out. Sean Coffey speaking with that eyewitness and others. He's live tonight with that story. Hi, Sean. Yeah, hi, Lauren, Steve. That eyewitness, Robin Payne, was quick to point out that Lewiston, it's the second largest city in the state of Maine, but it's really not that big. It's only around 36,000 people population-wise, which for context, it's about half the size of Apex or Chapel Hill, and it makes the wound inflicted by this massacre even deeper. I feel like the whole state of Maine is a small town, and I think probably everyone in the state is going to know someone that was impacted. Tonight, ABC 11 Eyewitness News is hearing firsthand the terrifying moments after a gunman opened fire in Lewiston, killing at least 18 people. Robin Payne lives just down the block from Schmanke's Bar and Grill, where eight people were found dead. There were dozens of police vehicles right in front of my house. And, uh, you know, myself and the neighbors are kind of poking our heads out like, what's happening? Robin sending us doorbell video of that massive law enforcement presence just feet from her front steps. It was it was pretty terrifying, pretty intense in the moment. This Meredith Finn was born in Lewiston and graduated UNC Chapel Hill in 1989. Now she runs the university's main alumni club. It's just shocking and, and it's breaking my heart. Heartbroken that she believes the town will never be the same. They'll always be thinking in the back of their head, if I go to this public place, what might happen? And that's always been the case. We've always known that could happen, but the fact that it did happen here and on such a large scale, it's it leaves a wound. Now, as the manhunt for suspect Robert Card continues, law enforcement up and down the East Coast are on high alert. That includes the I-95 corridor in Nash County. He is in a database that he is wanted at this time because we know who he is. Our proactive approach as working I-95, you got to think, in less than 18 hours, he can be in Nash County. But with cards still at large nearly 24 hours after the massacre, people like Robin remain on edge, unsure of what could happen next. It's very scary. He could he could be anywhere. He could totally disappear or, you know, God forbid, ambush someone. And I think that's kind of in the back of everybody's mind. And speaking to Robin's first point about the number of people in Maine that will likely know someone impacted by this shooting. During our conversation, Meredith said her boss had just called and told her that she had to cancel a meeting because her husband, who's from Lewiston, learned that a classmate had actually been killed in the massacre. So just a, a really rough 24 hours for a community that's never experienced anything like this before. Mm -hmm. Live in Raleigh, Sean Coffey, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.